fun fact, if you click this button right here, if you click on that, if you scroll down and click on that, it actually turns blue. Go ahead, try it right now. What is going on guys? Eric White in the house. No, did not choose the last name. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic and we have something interesting to talk about today. But then again, isn't every video something interesting to talk about? We have to talk about Samsung and the Galaxy S10. Now, if you guys don't know, I did a video last week about the Samsung Galaxy S10e and a lot of the stuff that we're gonna be covering is very similar to that video. So if you guys don't know anything I'm talking about or you wanna know a little bit more about the features in general about the phones, click right up there and that will take you to it. Now the Samsung Galaxy S10 is a great device and there's something interesting that I wanna address about the phone and it's not specifically about the phone in general but what it means for the company as a whole. Now the Samsung Galaxy S10 is a great device and there's a lot of features that we have to talk about. It has a gorgeous display, triple cameras on the back if you decide to go with the S10 Plus. The phone has amazing features, the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. It has all these tons and tons of features but there's one aspect very specifically that really sets it apart from the other 10 or technically 9 launches that the Galaxy S lineup has announced. And this one specifically is the partnerships. Now what exactly am I talking about? Now if you watch the Unpacked event, there is something very interesting and it was the fact that they partnered with other companies and you started to notice that theme as the event went on and what do I mean by that? One little feature and I mentioned this in a Galaxy S10 e video, once again you guys can go check that out, link in the description. There is one really interesting thing about the integration. Now if you take a picture in the native Samsung camera app, you take a selfie or a groupie, us, whatever you call that with multiple people, if you take that in the native camera app, you can actually send it directly to the Instagram stories. You don't have to go into the Instagram stories, tap that little plus icon and be a caveman. You can do it directly from the native camera app. Now, one thing that has always sucked, and I mean literally has drained me daily, is using Snapchat and all of a sudden seeing the fuzz and the noise and just the overall terrible quality that you get when you take a picture on the Samsung app. Now if you go to the regular camera app in the phone, the picture looks perfectly fine. It's not going to blow anyone's brains out, but it just looks better than what you get in the Snapchat app. And it has always sucked being an Android user for pretty much most of my life, taking a picture in the Snapchat app and having people say how terrible my quality looks, how terrible the picture is, get an iPhone is why I picked up one of these bad boys, video on that coming very soon. And just in general, an always bad experience. Not even that picture was always bad, just the quality, the use of the app, it was slow, it was buggy, it always took forever. To... Anyway, Samsung partnered with Snapchat and now when you take a picture, it actually looks as amazing as it should be. And it should be great because the front facing camera is able to record 4K. So I better be getting great Snapchats with this phone. And with all that said, there's a specific reason why I made this video. Now, if you guys don't know everything, Apple Pro is a huge YouTuber. He's obviously an Apple fan, as the name suggests. He recently put out a video, maybe last week or earlier than that, about him switching to the Galaxy S10. He was doing a simple comparison saying that what the Galaxy S10 Plus doesn't have compared to the iPhone XS Max. And he was saying that he was going to force himself to use the iPhone XS Max. And in that video, he was saying a lot of things that he really liked about the S10 Plus compared to the XS Max. Things such as small little customization features, some speed here and there. And it really got me thinking, what does the Galaxy S10 mean for Samsung? Now here's the thing, this S10 would have been nothing, and I, and I want you to hear me, this S10 would have been nothing if they had not done the partnerships. There's always been this lifelong debate over which is better, Android or iPhone, and that sinks and really goes down to the roots of hardware versus software. Now, I'm not saying that hardware side, Apple doesn't deliver because, oh my goodness, do they deliver. The chipsets, the Retina HD displays, everything that they put out into their phones was always forward-thinking, ahead of the curve, and amazing but it was more of their software that kept them in line and kept people into their ecosystem. What do I mean by that? iCloud, iMessage, 
FaceTime, those three alone, that software side, they were absolutely killing and Samsung or any other Android manufacturer was nowhere close to that. But on the hardware side, Android was absolutely delivering great cameras, great screens, Samsung screens. They just had an all around great hardware package but they were severely lacking on the software side and I think they started to realize who their target market was, that their target market is actually us youngsters, the people who are around 15 to 30, maybe that's a little bit high, people who actually want to get an Android, but they're just not quite there yet. Now, let me say this right now. I'm not saying that the Galaxy S10 is the answer to everyone's problems and it's a great phone for everyone. But to be honest, I think this phone might convert a lot, and I mean a lot of iPhone users. Now, a lot of people are fed up with Apple's penny pinching, not including an adapter in the box. The iPhone XS Max screen is an amazing screen, vibrant, colorful, but it doesn't allow you to multitask. It's just severely lacking in features and functionality. And the S10 actually took a step in the right direction. They partnered with all these social media platforms and they know who their target market is. And I think the Galaxy S10 is definitely a step in the right direction. Once again, it's not gonna be great for everyone, but I think that it'll convert a lot, and I mean a lot, of iPhone users. So what does the S10 mean for Samsung? I think it's the dawn of a new era. That was actually a little bit cheesy. But anyway, guys, that is all that I have for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you go down below and click that like button, turn it blue like we talked about earlier. If you guys are new and you haven't yet subscribed, why don't you do that? It would be amazing. I make videos every single week for you guys. Click the sub button, join Innovation Nation. And just like always, I see you guys in the next one.